exactly. Many of us know, though, how we feel about this heat. Oh, yes. yeah. I think I think we're all on the same page there. <laughs> Disappointed and, and there, too. we know too. how we feel. <laughs> right. <laughs> Big question is, when does it change? Right. And the change is coming, and it comes later this week, because we just in time for the weekend. You know, it seems like if you look at the last few weekends, look at the temperatures. Well into the 100s, we've been averaging a high temperature of, uh, of exceeding 100 degrees this month. Their average high this time of year is 95. So this is the day today in the city of Sacramento that we tied the record for the most 100 degree days for the month of July. Those records go all the way back to 1877 and we've seen 17 days. We're going to break that record tomorrow with the 18th 100 plus degree day. The high temperature so far today, 107 in the city of Sacramento. That's where we stand right now. Fairfield at 100, Stockton, Modesto in the mid 100s as well. And it's just uh, triple digits all across the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valley for today. And I think tomorrow is going to be the hottest day. We'll have a mild start to the day. Temperatures for the foothills starting off near 80 degrees. That's the, that's the case in Grass Valley. Low to mid 70s for much of the valley overnight. Chico starting off near 80 degrees as well. But as we go through the afternoon, by the lunch hour. This is where temperatures cross the threshold of 100. We see those highs ranging about 104 to 110 tomorrow. Uh, that likely happening during the four and five o'clock hour. 107 is our forecast high in Sacramento tomorrow. Low die 105, Mandica 107. Uh, temperatures you get further south on the higher end of that range. So you're holding on to 108 for Modesto, Turlock, Patterson at 109. And the best chance to see a 110 reading is across north and Calusa and Sutter County points north in the central Sacramento Valley. So it is going to be a summer scorcher tomorrow. No doubt about it. As we move later this week, though, that is when we finally get the change a lot of you are looking for and it comes in time for the weekend. So this ridge of high pressure that's really controlling our pattern so far this month finally starts to weaken a little bit and then slowly shift to the east. It's going to take a lot of the heat, at least the focus with the warmth across the upper Midwest into the high plains, where for us, we start to shift more of a onshore flow off the cooler Pacific waters, and that will have some impacts with our temperatures. Instead of the 100s, how about a high below 90 degrees for a change? And we think we'll, we'll see that on Saturday. It's going to take a few days because, uh, you know, to get this new pattern setting up here. Uh, but next Saturday, 89 82 in Fairfield, temperatures in the high country in the 70s. And again, beautiful weather this weekend. Never to really look ahead for that. By early next week, temperatures still running at or just slightly below average. When it comes to the Sierras, keep an eye to the sky. Some thunderstorms in the forecast again Tuesday and Wednesday. And I think the skies clear out with very comfortable weather for the rest of the week. Curtis. All right.